Let's take a look at the male reproductive structures. First off, let's look at what are not reproductive structures. This is the rectum, anus, with the sacrum and the coccygeal vertebrae. This is actually part of the pelvic bone. So first off, we have the penis, which is composed of three cylindrical erectile tissues. In light orange here, we have the corpus spongiosum. There is a singular corpus spongiosum. Running right down the middle of that is the urethra, specifically the penile urethra. And this off the bat is one significant difference between male and female reproductive biology. In females, the urethra plays no role in reproduction, but in males, it does. So in both sexes, it plays a role in the urinary system as the passageway for the elimination of urine from the body, but it is also utilized for the release of seminal fluid or semen during ejaculation. And the urethra is passing directly through the corpus spongiosum. In gray here is one of two corpora cavernosa. Corpora cavernosa is plural. A single one like we see here is corpus cavernosum. Here is a testis, scrotum, epididymis, vas deferens or ductus deferens. We've looked at all of that in previous videos. During ejaculation, spermatozoa or sperm cells are going to leave the epididymis, travel up the ductus deferens to this region here where fluid from the seminal vesicle, which is right here, which provides nutrient-rich, fructose-rich secretions. Fructose is a type of sugar that is needed for the sperm cell's long journey. I did not mention this structure right here, which is a urinary bladder, which we see the urethra leaving. So the spermatozoa, and there is some fluid that leaves the testes along with the sperm cells, picking up more nutrient-rich fluid from the seminal vesicles, which are providing roughly 60% of the overall seminal fluid. More fluid is going to come from the prostate gland right here. There's also enzymes secreted by the prostate gland relevant to reproduction. And then that's going to continue through the urethra during ejaculation. This right here is the bulbourethral gland, otherwise known as Cowper's gland. And it provides the pre-seminal fluid that helps to lubricate the tip of the penis and it also neutralizes the pH of the urethra. When we talk about pH, we're talking about the acidity or lack thereof of fluid in the body, in this case, the urethra. And urine can be very acidic. So if we have acidic urine going through the urethra, then that acidity can help, that acidity can damage or kill the sperm cells traveling through the urethra. So the pre-seminal fluid from the bulbourethral gland will help neutralize or prevent it from being so acidic so the sperm cells can survive along their journey through the penile urethra. Those are the male reproductive organs.